Hi, my name is Stephen Wood with AtlasRFIDStore.com, and I'm going to talk about the top five types of RFID antennas and when they are used. These antennas in front of me are some of our most popular antennas of each type, because read range varies greatly due to system setup, reader power, RFID tag type, gain, and environment. Today we'll talk about read range generally, using the terms short range and long range. Short range is defined as an antenna that gets between a few centimeters up to one meter, which is just shy of three feet. And long range is going to be defined as an antenna that gets between three meters and nine meters, or between 10 and 30 feet. First, we will start with a small antenna. This is the Impinge Mini Guardrail Antenna. The Mini Guardrail is a near field, short range antenna meaning that it only reads tags in the near field, which is typically a max read distance of only a few centimeters. This antenna is very small and lightweight. Near field antennas are perfect for item level applications that need a very small and defined area of coverage, especially when the concern is to only read one specific tag in a tag dense environment. Some example applications are access control, document management, and ticketing. The next antenna we have is a Harding Longfield antenna. This is a very unique type of antenna known as a traveling wave antenna. It's called this because the RF waves travel along the length of the coaxial cable toward the two ends. The Harding Longfield antenna is a short range, high gain antenna that is very convenient because it's a coaxial cable and an antenna in one form factor. This means it can be directly connected to an RFID reader. The Harding Lockfield antenna has a diameter of only a few millimeters, but because of its unique shape, it can read tags in most orientations similar to a circularly polarized antenna. Because it can be molded to almost any shape, this antenna is designed for applications that need a unique read zone configuration. Harding's Lockfield antenna series are easy to integrate into pre-existing cabinets or enclosures, making them ideal for tool cribs, smart shelving, or server racks for inventory control applications. If you are mounting this antenna within or near a metal surface, be sure to use some spacing and don't allow the antenna to make contact with metal as that would decrease its signal. In the middle, we have a standard panel antenna, which is the most common type of RFID antenna. This one is the MTI MT262006 panel antenna. A long range UHF RFID antenna with a high gain of 9 dBIC. This antenna is pretty rugged and has a high IP rating of 67, meaning that it can be used indoors or outdoors. It's a circularly polarized antenna, so your tag can have any orientation and still be read. Panel antennas are perfect for applications that need a fixed zone of coverage. Panel antennas can be used together to create a larger area of coverage. These antennas are currently used in outdoor applications like access control on parking gates or race timing mounted to race timing trusses. Next, we have a very compact and low profile shelf antenna. This is the Keon Adventenna P12, which has a narrow beam width, perfect for smart shelf applications. It is 11 inches by five and a half inches by three tenths of an inch. It weighs about a half pound and is circularly polarized, so it is not sensitive to tag orientation. Because this antenna is so thin and built for smart shelving applications, it can be embedded into existing products or be used for inventory management of retail items like jewelry, shoes, or clothing. Finally, we have this large ground antenna. This is the Time 7 A6590C that measures 36 inches by 12 inches. It is the largest one we have on the table today but it's pretty versatile for its form factor because of its circular polarity, and it has a high gain of 9 dBIC. It is a long range indoor antenna, perfect for applications like moving products and attendance tracking. This A6590 is typically covered with a mat or carpeting and used in conference attendance tracking, race timing, 
or other applications that require an antenna on the ground, in a doorway, or other read point. This antenna has an IP rating of 65, so be sure it isn't placed in any sort of standing water. Thanks for watching this video about the top five most popular types of UHF RFID antennas. For more information on RFID and how it's being used all over the world, check out our blog, our RFID resources page, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. As always, if you have any questions at all, please send us an email or give us a call.